Live and direct. Right, right, right. It's Sway in the morning. Right here on Shade 45. Uh, but man, my good friend walked in here, man. He's doing this excellent um, project, and he, he and I always cross paths on the streets, and you know, when we in the hood and the trenches, you know what I mean? <laughs> Tearing buildings down. Uh, <laughs> and uh, ball crew. Uh, you know what I mean? And uh, Word, man, I've admired this guy um, uh, for his entire career. Um, he's what they deem a celebrity photographer, but it's, it's more to him than just that, man. He tells stories um, with his photos. Um, he's been responsible for um, artwork, uh, the likes of Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt album, mm -hmm. which is one of my favorite albums of all time. Um, he's also worked with Nas. Um, he's done the, He did the Godson album. He did, now DJ Wonder, you was mentioning one of your favorite covers of all time. It's from DMX. Flesh of my flesh, bug. Uh, yeah, he did that one as as well, and he has a new project that he's doing with the cool. Please welcome to the show the one and only Jonathan Mannion is here, ladies and gents. Yeah. Oh man, how you Appreciate doing? Appreciate that round of applause, man. Oh man, it's it's necessary, man, because you capture the moments um, that become the the photo album of our lives, especially when it comes to music culture. That's a big responsibility, just like you know the producer Dr. Dre has a or Kanye or Pharrell has a responsibility as a producer. Uh, photographers do as well. History to me is so important, especially ours. And we often it gets misconstrued. It gets unto it's untold a lot of times. It's not being presented correctly. And then years pass by, and magical moments go down the wayside, flush down the toilet. Mm. It's people like Jonathan Mannion that keep the truth alive, man. So I, I love what you do. Uh, Appreciate that, man. Absolutely, man. Let me ask you about this reasonable doubt cover, man. I never got okay. a chance to talk to you about it. Uh, so unique in itself, regarded as in, by many as Jay Z's best piece of work it was his first album Agreed. ever released. What was it like working with him at a, at that time? What was his vision? Man, I, you know it's cool, man. His vision was very clear. You yeah. know, originally the album was going to be called Heir to the Throne. Yeah. He felt that it was a bit presumptuous. So, like, I had come up with all these ideas, given it that title, and then he switched it the next day. He's like, "Oh man, changing it up, calling it Reasonable Doubt." So he's like, you know, I'm thinking speedboats. I'm thinking Versace linen. I don't know, maybe something like that video. I was like, no, that's not what you're thinking. Yeah. What you're thinking is surveillance, Little Italy, John Gotti, Mafia, family, Brooklyn, New York, roots, in the trenches. Let's go. He's like, I'm on it. That's perfect. That's awesome. I'm going to show up styled. Uh -huh. 72nd and Riverside shot it on the roof of my building. And then where Trump kind of has his empire along yeah. that West Side Highway. Yeah. And uh, history was made, man. And uh, wow. I did seven more after that, man. Wow. It was Arguably the greatest run in hip hop between a photographer and a massive artist. I'd say unparalleled for sure. Man, Sway in the Morning, Shade 4 5. We're taking them um, and just talking about history, moments in history. Reasonable Doubt album. That's what we're talking about. 10 minutes into the hour. Jonathan Mannion is here. He's doing a special project with Aku. And um, this is an interesting project. It's wearable art, right? Yeah. Basically, we did uh, 19 shirts, uh, 19 images, and then there's like colorways, you know, for each of them. So. You can really cover a full range. I mean, some are shot down in Brooklyn, yeah. you know, uh, Memphis, uh -huh. L.A., Hawaii. You know, uh -huh. there's lowriders. And it's really a presentation of culture more than anything. You know, it's not sort of like, you know, as other people have done collaborations, they slap a celebrity on in a square, keep it moving, nicely done, <laughs> put an X in between. That's fair. Cute. That's, that's fine if you like that. That's fine. Do yeah. that. Do that. Yeah. I'll uh -huh. buy a couple of them. But, you know, this is a richer collaboration and a, and a full thought, complete thought about a presentation of culture, things that you pass by every day. I'm paying attention to it, which is my job and what I do as a photographer. One of the shirts you have on now has a group of kids um, of, out of Harlem who look like, you know, they're just hanging out at one of those water hydrants and mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a hot sunny day in Harlem and, and their faces look beautiful, man. It's just like everyday average kids. You don't, they're not the kids of a celebrity. That's the sort of thing we're going to see with this, right? Yeah, man. It's uh. Yeah, I mean, that was, a, that was an incredible moment, man. Yeah. You know, it was actually pissing down with rain and, like, just pouring. And I was like, you know, they were all in fancy clothes. I was like, nah, man, lose that. Let's get down to the basics. Had them sprinting through the streets of Harlem. Yeah. And then finally, I was like, what y'all made of, man? What y'all made of? I was like, let me see their muscles, man. And they all flexed, man. And it was wow. just, like, one of those, like, kind of epic moments that reveals, like, this toughness that they have to have being, you know, Growing up in Harlem, like yeah. it's a whole different vibration, man. Absolutely, and, you know these streets teach you well. They absolutely. and early now. Ti Aku is Ti's clothing line. Does he have any input, or he just kind of proves what you're gonna do? I think the input was, you know, based on respect that he had for my work. Yeah. He and I've worked together on a number of occasions, you know. So when it was brought to him, 
by the powers that be over at a coup. He was like, yeah, that makes sense. Manion's a G and let's go for it. You know, oh, so gee, man, he has a G. Did he just stunt? Oh, super, yeah. super OG. Okay, and that's according to Tip, man. Yeah, I don't okay, know, man. Okay, okay. I, I, I don't put words in his mouth, man. It's yeah, cool. Yeah, Tip the guy, man. Uh, <laughs> Jonathan Mannion has joined us. Um, he shot some of the most monumental um, um, artwork um, that hip hop has ever seen. DJ Wonder brought up Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood by DMX in 1998, being one of his favorite pieces of art. Why, Wonder? I like the. The red paint. I don't know, man. <laughs> I actually wanted to make a T-shirt out of that joint, like a like a full length joint. But I'll do that for you, man. Okay, let's do Not it. Not in this collection. <laughs> the next one, man. Flesh of my flesh, blood of my blood. That was back in 1998. If you see that cover by DMX, Jonathan Mannion, the man who shot it, has joined us. Um, another artist you had a chance to work with, man, and that just kind of changed hip hop. Uh, for the better, it helped uh, advance hip hop music. Uh, for the better, in my opinion, is Eminem. And, oh, without a doubt. And you shot first time you worked with him was it the Marshall Mathers LP? Marshall Mathers LP. Yeah, it was the first time I worked with him. Uh, you know, they came to me with an idea. I, I was I'd heard about him with Slim Shady. Obviously, then it was you know before that album was released. Had a little moment with it. I was sad I didn't get that opportunity. And then they came back to me. For Marshall Mathers LP, they said um, originally that album was going to be called Amsterdam. Did you know like, that? Who knew that? I was like, yeah, no, I know that. Yeah, <laughs> it was going to be called. So, and I was so, far, like, up. so far, we found out a reasonable doubt was initially going to be called Heir to the Throne. Okay, and then the Marshall Mathers LP initially was going to be called Amsterdam. Why? Just, just because of the lax, you know, M was uh, exploring a lot of uh, uh, substances and situations that were uh, allowing his creativity to flow a little. Uh, more richly, yeah. Shall we say, smoking and weed? Back yeah, then. that's okay, it. Okay, that's okay. it. All right, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. I forgot. I forgot we were on shade four five. Yeah, yeah. Okay, this is his this home. Is sway in the morning. Yeah. I'm yes. Jonathan Mannion, your yeah. host, and uh, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about this Eminem. There it is. All right. Yeah, clap that. What was him like uh, at that time in terms of his creativity? Like, what did he wanted to do? So yeah, the first time I met him, I met him in Amsterdam. So we shot the original portion of it in Amsterdam. He performed a live show. I met him that night, and like instantly we kind of hit it off. It's like I'm from Cleveland. He's from Detroit, two white boys working within the game. Like there was a similar perspective and it was an immediate sort of connection. And he's like, what up, Hershey Loke? What's up, Loke? Like uh -huh. it was his opening line to me. I was like, oh, man, I love this kid already. Man. Yeah, man. And we really made history. We went for it. And then I think there was a little bit of a change of uh, it not being called Amsterdam, going back to the Marshall Mathers LP as he wanted to sort of show this trifecta of personalities and i think he knew that the third you know volume or installment was going to be the m&m show already so it was the beginning so we went back to detroit you know went to his pizza spot where he used to work i had him throwing out the trash like yeah. we really told a really really beautiful and rich story with that and because of that i was invited back for the the m&m show Damn. all right we're being joined by jonathan Mannion, celebrity photographer of the stars and uh, people that you don't know as well 20 minutes into the hour tracy g what do you have well, Sway, you remember yesterday we had Double XL's editor in chief Vanessa Satin in here speaking about um, their big freshman cover, and our our friend Rich Homie Quan he made it on there, but unfortunately, uh, it's being reported that he suffered two seizures while he was doing a um, a music video set. And a rep said wow. that he's currently in good condition. It happened because of heat exhaustion, but it was so. Um, it was so crazy to the point where he fell directly on his head. What What is up with all of these seizures? Rick Ross had a seizure. Lil Wayne was having seizures. Rich Homie Quan is having seizures. Like, seizures are like the, the new illness now in hip-hop. Is it a trend? What's the new drug? Molly. And is it scissor or something, too? And, and lean. Oh. Mm. So you think it's a combo pack? I'm just trying to say it. You have to find a common denominator. I'm uh -huh. not saying... These people are doing all of these things, but what's the common denominator? Rappers, drugs, you know, who knows? No rest, touring, um, eating crappy. Yeah. Hey, man, these body. you know how they say you got to take care of your temple. You got to take care of your temple. You got to take care of your mind. Too. Rich homie Quan is like, what, 20? Does he do drugs? I, I've, I've never seen him smoke crack or nothing, Heather. <laughs> Not that. crack. We can't go with crack. Okay. Maybe but, the lean, maybe the mop. We don't know. I got to go back and listen to some lyrics. But yeah. pills seem to be a dangerous thing. Yeah, that's saying. unfortunate, right? Jonathan Mannion, you, uh, how many mop pieces, uh, Molly, have you done on your life? How much have you done? <laughs> uh, what is that, man? Okay, good answer. All right, cool. <laughs>
All I right. rock Tom Ford. There it is. All right. Cool. You, got, you can't afford Molly then. Smart. <laughs> Hilarious. All right. Now moving on. Reference. Another <laughs> story. Um, I know that we've been following a lot of reports about this ongoing marital drama rumors about T.I. and Tiny having some trouble at home, how they had um, a public Grammy spat. Uh, going back and forth on Instagram. T.I., he bought a new house so he could be closer to the studio, but a lot of people say it's so that he can be farther away from Tiny. Um, but now he's actually shedding some light. They've been kind of quiet about it or doing some interviews and saying, you know, it's just regular marital problems that we get over. But he jumped on um, Janae Aiko's The Worst and reflected on some problems he has with Tiny. You know, sometimes you got to put people feel like they got to spill it out in public just to get the impact or the, the reaction that they, that they need, that they want. Mm. We got a, a, a woman on the line right now out of Dallas. She's she, We're not going to say your name. OK. <laughs> All right. Okay. We're not going right. to. OK. Anonymous. <laughs> All, right. All right. Scarlet A. That's what we're going to call you. Now, you, <laughs> you, now you, you had to put who did you have to put on on, on front? Like, in, I hate saying that on blast. What's another word for that? Yeah. Um, I had to. I had to put my, my son's father on blast. Um, I fell into a situation where I needed his help and um, ended up having to go stay with him in his apartment. And so after about 10 days, he wanted me to sign a contract to stay there. So because I wouldn't sign a contract to stay there, and at that time, it was like a week before Christmas, our son had just turned a year old in September, he contacted the authorities. He called one time to either try to make me sign his contract or to put me and his son out the house. So the latter happened, and he actually packed our stuff up and put it outside the house. And he's a personal trainer down in South Florida, and I actually took pictures of him putting our stuff out of the house and, you know, let everybody know this is what he got his son for his very first Christmas. And he, you know, I just what was the con- Wait, What was the contract about? I don't understand. What was the contract <laughs> about for you to pay certain bills or that, that you will stay? Well, it, it, um, it basically was, okay, with you being here the first 90 days, you wouldn't have to pay anything. After 90 days, you're paying oh. half of everything. And it had a whole list of conditions, including, mm-hmm. um, including performing work searches and reporting back to him with my progress. Um, <laughs> a lot of... <laughs> hey, I'm not mad yeah. at him. Hey, hey, no. Accountability. What was, what was wrong with that? Um, well, the fact was that while he was getting himself together, we were together for two years and he didn't have anything. He entered my home mm-hmm. with no conditions. And I, la- you know, and I just, you know, I supported him. So I felt like at a time where... You know, I had gotten laid off from my job. I, started I don't going need you. Me. I don't need you. I don't need you. Don't take it personal. Man, get out of here, man. Y'all ain't married. Do want to make sure you was gonna not going to sleep on the couch and do nothing and use his son as a credit card. That's, I, mean, I ain't mad at that. Sway, get out of here. Now, I ain't that. mad at that, Heather B. Nah, get out of here she with that. You can't just sit on the couch. Men do it. So, well, then don't, don't allow them to. What do you mean? Don't allow uh, him make to? him accountable accountable for his, you know, what he his his use of that home. If he's gonna buy, if you gonna eat groceries, you if you can't participate, she you gotta do something. She said she held him down for for two years, he, and she didn't do that to him. Why he gonna? He's an uh, anonymous. Asshole. Anonymous. Put her back on. Anonymous. You there? Yeah, I'm here. But hold on, Sway. So <laughs> after I got that initial, after I got that initial contract, I countered and gave him dates on um, how long I would be there or whatever and whatever I needed to do. And he didn't want me to do. He didn't want me to sign that. He wanted me to sign the one with all of his conditions that I would provide all the food and beverages that I would mm-hmm. all this extra stuff he had in there. Yeah, they're not y'all not married though, right? Oh no, I'm good. Yeah, I, I like the idea of uh, spelling it out what it's gonna be. You know, I, they're not, y'all not in love either, right? Were you in love? Uh, yeah, we were at one time. Okay. At one, at one yeah. time we were. I wouldn't have put my son out though. I wouldn't have put the kid on the street. That's where I disagree with them. Hey, but anonymous. Uh, thank you for sharing that story, Jonathan. Can, I be a citizen? Can you do what? Can I be a citizen? Actually, Sway, you actually know who I am. I used to um, work for the team okay. down there in South Florida. <laughs> it's innocent. Oh, oh, I know what you. I know what you're talking about. Yes, Yo, yes. you are definitely a citizen. Sway in the morning. Because you're a good person. Absolutely. Okay. 
I get it. You're a good person. Take care, all right? Yeah, okay, I get some love that sway on that. There you go. Okay, yeah, man. See he shouldn't have kicked you out. See I'm sorry. Sway. Don't I'm do sucker. that. I just say, you know, I just don't like mo- many the moochers. That's all. That's just me, Jonathan <laughs> Mannion. Uh, we'll take more of your calls. 888-742-3345. Um, Jonathan Mannion joined us. Thank you for coming by. Yeah, no doubt. People it's wanna, an honor and a pleasure. People want to reach you. How can they reach you? Uh, you can check out the site, man, jonathanmannion.com, J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N-M-A-N-N-I-O-N.com. It's a dope site, too. And you can it's find me. Really you can check site. out the new work from Kendrick to ASAP Mob to Drake Ooh. to oh. to old school classics, Damn. Corrupt, Biggie, Al. Yeah. Hove, everybody, all your favorites started, except for Tupac. He's he starting on us, man. Yeah. I got I got pictures of Pac. I'll throw it in your collection. All right, Jonathan. I know Manu. you got one. I got Again. one. That there it is. Oh, yeah. All right, uh, Jonathan Manu, Thanks for coming by. Make sure you check yeah, out yeah. this new line that he's doing with a cool. Uh, go to shop dot shop dot a clue a cool clothing brand dot com. There it is. You're, you're listening to Sway in the morning on Shea Forty Five.